Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 28th of 2020. Well, it is titled M16 inside the Eagle Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this whole image is what we call the Eagle Nebula with the outstretched wings stretching diagonally from lower left to upper right. And within the Eagle Nebula, what do we see inside of it? Well, the inner portion is op actually kind of open looking inward into what is happening here. So there's a lot of dusty areas around that make it harder to see around the edges of the wings and in towards the center. But the bluish region at the center is actually open and what we're seeing is what we call a cluster of stars and in this case an open cluster. Now an open cluster is one type of cluster of stars where there is not enough mass for them to be gravitationally bound together. So they generally consist of very young stars because by the time the stars get old, the stars have slowly dispersed out into space so they would no longer be associated with each other. And we also see a lot of filaments and material stretching around there and kind of pointing in towards the central portions of the nebula. So you can see a lot of those pillars stretching down in there. And those are regions where stars are still forming and adding to this cluster. These are the denser areas that are being eaten away by the stars that have already formed. So when star formation goes on, it is a battle between these stars and the dust. Can the dust collapse into stars? The dust and the gas, does that collapse into stars faster than the already formed stars can eat it away and slowly push that material backward? So it is only those denser knots that are able to survive. Now when we look at this image, this was taken with three at three specific wavelengths. And that's looking at the colors of light emitted by three different elements. So when so when we look at this, the red color shows sulfur, the yellow shows hydrogen, and the blue shows oxygen. So the colors are not showing exactly what the colors would look like. They are color coded to match up with those specific elements. And it's one of the ways we do a lot of these images to allow for emphasis of specific types or parts of the nebula. So here we can kind of bring out some of the different things that we are seeing here. So while it is not a true color image, it is still very useful in being able to better understand what is happening in the star forming region that we know as the Eagle Nebula. And we get to see a number of different regions. We see a lot of the darker dusty regions, uh, dark nebulae, we see and we see the emission nebulae as well. And the addition, the star cluster forming at the very center of the Eagle. So that was our picture of the day for December the 28th of 2020. It was titled M16 inside the Eagle Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a spot of darkness. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.